best bit of a business advice I received, which wasn't necessarily, didn't necessarily come in the way I was expecting, um, is something which happened to me about five years ago when I was working with um, a, a charity group in Liverpool. Um, and uh, I was working very closely with a HR lady who was a great, is a close friend of mine now. Um, and she took me to one side during the, the conference and because she sensed I was having some difficulty with a couple of the, of the delegates in the conference. We were in a work, workshop environment. And she reframed for me a bit of advice in a, in a great way. She basically said that as a personality, I have a very strong personality, very strong energy. Um, and that that energy uh, can at times um, provoke responses in other people. And what, I, what she observed I wasn't doing was owning my energy. So controlling how I allowed that passion and enthusiasm to come out in that room and how I wasn't observing, and this is emotional intelligence effectively, um, I wasn't emotionally aware of the impact it was having on other people. And it was a great bit of advice because I'm since become a, an NLP master practitioner, I'm very much aware, and I coach people on emotional intelligence now, and I'm very, very much aware of my own energy and how that can impact a group and how it was impacting that particular group and how it was basically provoking a response in somebody else.